Hi, I'm Adam Mitchell. I'm with Mitchell Distributing. We're the Budweiser distributor here in Tupelo. We've been a sponsor of the, the Don't Be Cruel Barbecue Duel for now the fifth year. Uh, we feel like we got to be a part of this. It's great for the community and can't have a good barbecue without Budweiser and Bud Light. Hi, I'm Stephanie Hall and we are Miss 98, uh, Mississippi Country Giant. And we first got involved with the Barbecue Duel the very first year that they were here in Tupelo. And we've been with them ever since. And uh, it's our, one of our favorite events and uh, we can't wait till next year. We're just here tonight uh, feeding some of our alumni and friends and we're serving brisket and some pulled pork and uh, a little bit of ribs. And then tonight we'll put our competition meat on and uh, see how good we can do tomorrow. We are, we are at the uh, Tupelo uh, Don't Be Cruel Barbecue Duel and we're Mississippi State University. And uh, we, uh, it's our second year here. It's a great event. And uh, if you're if you're close by, you should come. It's it's they two, the city of Tupelo does a great job. Um, as far as Mississippi State goes, we have a huge alumni base here. And uh, even though the weather's bad, we're still expecting a big turnout. I'm Scott Greenhill uh, from here in Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, judging here in the contest today, trying the wings out, and um, they had a really good food today. I'm I'm going with this one as my as my favorite. That's for sure. I think we were all on the same wavelength here today, but uh, food's really good, and so far, so good. Raymond Jordan in Tupelo, Mississippi. What a wonderful day to be out doing this. Although it's a little nasty outside, it is a treat in here. It, uh, the food's great, the friendship's great, fellowship's great, and the food is outstanding. Looking forward to seeing y'all again some other time. Uh, Jim Johnson from Tupelo, Mississippi. We've had some wings here, uh, three different styles. They were all wonderful, but I'll have to say one of them really outdid the other one, but I'm not going to tell you which one it was. But it was really good. Oh, I'm Sandy Childs, and this is Keith Jones, and we're from Gift Bottom, Mississippi. And we're at the Tupelo uh, Barbecue Fest. And we just had wings, barbecued wings. And this was my first judging experience, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was great. My name is Keith Jones. I'm from uh, Kosuth, Mississippi. Uh, this was really, uh, we're at the Don't Be Cruel Tupelo, Tupelo. Don't Be Cruel Barbecue Contest, Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, we've had a really good time. We just got through judging wings, had one really unusual entry and uh, three rather normal entries. And uh, I think we had a table consensus. Uh, we got a winner. We're loving being here. Hi, I'm Randy Birchfield. Uh, have the honor of judging wings tonight. Uh, I'm a local banker here in Tupelo, and uh, this is my first time uh, to do this, but uh, I think I got the hang of it. I'm looking forward to a, a fun evening and uh, very impressed with uh, what I see so far with the competition. Hey, I'm Mark Young. I work for Enterprise Rental Car here in Tupelo, and uh, glad to be here at the barbecue duel. And uh, my first time to ever try to do the judging, but it's pretty, pretty um, uh, well, I'm catching on pretty quickly anyway, so. All right. Justin King from Fulton, Mississippi. Uh, to Don't Be Cruel Barbecue Duel and had desserts. They were great. Which one you like the best? Uh, this first one that I tried. I don't know what it was called, but it was very good. It's gone. One is not there. Solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively. Objectively and subjectively.
chicken I had today, to me, none of it was really that good. Number two was probably the best piece I had. I like the this sauce and it was good. Um, this one was kind of mushy. Um, otherwise, it, it, it was okay. Um, I thought this one was slightly dry. Um, the flavor was okay, nothing spectacular, uh, very average. Um, I loved this one. Mine was very tender, very moist. I wanted to really suck in the bone <laughs> a little bit. Um, the sauce is nice and sweet, um, which I love. It had a little bit of a tanginess to it, um, which was just fabulous, nice balance of flavor. This one was a little tough, this, the skin and the, it was just an awkward cut of meat um, that they used. I had a lot of bone and I had to almost dig my face in there to get to it. Um, but the flavor was good, it was nice and spicy. This one was also very good. I think these two are probably my favorite. Um, this one had also a nice uh, spice to it. I like peppery, it's very peppery, um, very tender, very moist. Um, this one was slightly dry. Um, and very peppery, um, but no, really, not really un any other flavors that popped. So I think these two were my favorites today. Okay. I'm gonna pass. Hand the yeah. Well, today we had a white meat, which is not characteristic, and it was it was very tender, but didn't have a lot of taste. But it was a good piece of chicken. I liked the second one the most, and it was uh, flavorful, nice sauce, nice spices. The third one was a little. Uh, I, I think affected by the charcoal and had a lot of uh, bark on the outside. It was still a good entry, but not the best. Uh, the, uh, number five was a very good chicken. It was uh, flavorful, uh, just the right amount of spices. And I think the last one suffered from uh, the charcoal flavor, maybe lighter fluid, perhaps. Well, okay, I think the best one was this one right here, number two. The worst one was the last one, number five, and it tasted like lighter fluid. The uh, surprise to me was the white meat, the breast on number one. It was uh, better than I expected. They can be dry, and uh, so it might have been, in fact, uh, the second best of the whole lot. Overall, I think we had good chicken entries. Don't think we had great. The first one, the white meat, it was cooked well. I thought it could have used a little more flavor. Number two was my favorite, was seasoned well. It was moist and tender. The third one, to me, the smoke flavor was almost overpowering. It was dry. Number four, the taste was good. The chicken itself was dry, and number five, I think it had a lighter fluid taste, which definitely took away from the entry. But overall, good entries. bit into it, it come clean away from the bone. Uh, it had a real good flavor, but it was just slightly uh, over overcooked, just slightly overcooked. Uh, number five was my least favorite. Uh, lack of taste and undercooked uh, was my problem with it. My favorite also was number four. Um, I felt it was cooked perfectly, um, came away from the bone clean, and it had good flavor. My least favorite was probably number one. It had pretty good flavor, but it was undercooked. Um, my favorite was number four. Uh, it was very flavorful. I felt like it was cooked well, and that... Uh, very tender. The bone came away, or the meat came away from the bone very well. Uh, I would say my least favorite would have been number two. 
uh, I felt it was not just just a little bit tougher than the rest of them, and uh, the, I did not like the flavor as much. Okay, my favorite was actually number five. Uh, I like the way it was uh, smoked, more of a rendezvous from uh, Memphis type of uh, finish to it as opposed to a, a gloss. Uh, had good flavor and uh, like the way it was cooked. My least favorite I think was probably number one, which I, I think was a little undercooked. My favorite was number four. I felt it met all of the KCBS criteria for an excellent rib. When you bit into it, you had to do a little gentle tug. Left a nice little gray mark by the bone. Had a beautiful taste. My least favorite was number two. It uh, was tough. It looked pretty good, but it had no flavor whatsoever. My favorite was number four. The presentation was good. The tenderness was great, and the flavor stayed in your mouth like it should. My least favorite would be number two. The presentation was done real well, but it was very tough. Didn't care for the taste at all. number three the most out of all those had some good flavor it was just a slightly dry to it uh, my personal worst was number two because it was totally dry I like number four the best uh, number five was uh, really overcooked and dry and, and rather tough Uh, would have definitely been uh, four of the best, three after that, uh, five again, a little bit overcooked, a little bit too much spice on one for me. I like number three the best. It was delicious. I like number four. It was great too. Number three didn't look the best, but it was tasty. I like number four the best actually. Um, Three and one were also good to me. Unfortunately, I felt like two and five were a little bit drier, and that's unfortunate. I, too, liked three and four the best. Um, they were all pretty good, a couple a little drier than others, but the, the flavoring is very good. pretty good contest. The chicken was a lot better than I thought would be, but uh, all in all, the meat was all pretty good. Brisket had a little bit to be desired for me, but that was probably the disappointing factor of the whole thing was the brisket. Well, you know, I'm not totally in agreement here because that happens to be my plates being filmed right there. And that one right there I thought was excellent. But now this one was very good. This one had the best taste, but it, it was tough and a little tough, and it, looked, it seemed like it had been cooked a little bit too long. Uh, these other two were, they were actually reasonably good. I don't know what else to say. That they, uh, you know, nothing wrong with it. Uh, that's about all I know to say. Hello, sir. I think number three there, if they had to cut it against the grain instead of cutting it with the grain, it would have made a difference on 
the tenderness part of it anyway. Uh, but all in all, it was good. Good piece of meat. I would concur with my predecessor on all points. Likewise. I thought number two was probably the best, and the other ones were okay, but I thought two was the best overall. <laughs>